Hello! Today I'd like to share with you one of our new sets coming out in the new annual catalogue, June, available on June 4th. And um, the stamp set is actually Sailing Home, and they ha it has dies to match. Um, so this comes as a bundle. And the card we're going to make today is this one. I think it's so stunning. I love this stamp set already. I've made so much stuff with it that I need to play with the other stamp sets too, and I haven't, so um, I've gone crazy with this one. But anyway, this is a card we're going to make, and June 4th you'll be able to order the products to go with. Uh, it has gorgeous things. Um, the stamps are beautiful sizes, and uh, it has boats, a compass, an anchor, rope. Um, congrats, thanks. Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. Um, you are my true north. And the one we're going to use today is set sail in the direction of your dreams. Now this is one stamp and I just cut it into three sections. I mean, you know, my after I stamped it, I cut it into three. And it also has the birds as well. Now the dies, it has extras in the dies. Let me show you what we have in our dies. There are um, the weeds, the um, whatever, seaweed, coral type um, floaty things. Um, the lighthouse, you have a, a border um, rope looking piece. You have a ship's wheel, there's another rope, the two boats, um, the centers for the, the compass. Uh, you have a um, thing to put your sentiments on, like um, this would fit on there. Um, you have the little banner ones, and I didn't notice that until after I'd done this. So I, I liked it, and so I left it, and then um, today we're going to use the little banner uh, cutouts. But uh, it has a bunch of beautiful dies that go with the stamps. So, um, whoops, just dropped my little ship's wheel. I will show you at the end some of the other products I have made, so stay tuned. They're, they're stunning. You're not going to want to miss them. Um, what else? The paper to go with this suite is also just as stunning. Let me set my stamp set aside for now, and I'll grab my paper. All right. I'll put my card up here for a minute. Okay. You have lighthouses on this side, and then on the other, it is stripes. Then you have this light um, blue stripe. And then on this side you have like compasses and different measuring um, tools for C type things. Then you have sailboats. And this lovely new um, color. And then the, the green stripes. And then this stripe. And that's got like the seaweed uh, type thing. And you have like newsprint in like Sahara sand color. And your browns. And then you have your ropes and your Knight of Navy in your Sahara sand. Then you have your compasses in the Knight of Navy and the new color that I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Then you have green on that side. Let's see. I've got it in my own little bags because the Stampin' Up! ones um, rip and they don't have the closures on them. Let's see. It's Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Soft Suede, and Whisper White. Oh, okay, so it's not the new blue in there. I thought it was the new um, ink color, so it's not. Anyways, that is our paper. Okay, so let me continue now and tell you what you are going to need for this card. So I did the outside and then the inside I just stamped a little corner and uh, put a little thing so it's easier to see rather than that. Now I did not use Night of Navy because I loved this in Blueberry Bushel. 
So we are using blueberry bushel today. Okay, you will need your card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, fold it and then burnish it really well so it stands up nice and pretty. All right, then you will need a piece of, I am using um, very vanilla, and this measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I will have all the measurements uh, and all the products you need on my blog. I just want a very slim border around mine. So that's why I did the eighth. So it's just over the four and just uh, below the five and a half. Then for your inside, I did it a larger than that. So I just did it four by five and a quarter. And then you will need to stamp and cut out a lighthouse. And I sponged the edges. So you'll need a sponge dauber. And a gem to put on the top of your lighthouse. I just used one of the rhinestone gems. Now you can use dimensionals. I have just stuck um, two little pieces of fun foam that I cut out with the same die um, to put behind my lighthouse. But um, if you have dimensionals, that works perfectly fine. I just had this available and I wanted to stick it on that. So I put that. Then you will need a um, stamp out your compass. And I also sponged the end of this. And I used a one and a half inch circle punch for um, the compass. And that is going to go on dimensionals. And you will need about 16 inches of the baker's twine. And that went around the edge of the card right here. And then we just tied a knot there. Right? So 16 inches of, uh, it's Knight of Navy and Sahara sand. Baker's twine. You'll need a little tiny strip of um, DSP. That uh, goes along with this. It's the striped part we're using, not the black on the back side with the, the weeds or the whatever they're called. So this is half an inch by uh, five and three eighths. Then you will need three of the, these little banner cutouts that are in the dies. And then you will need to stamp your sentiment. Then I cut it into three pieces. So I have my three pieces here. I will show you how it's done, but I just have them done already. So I'll just show you a partial, right? So, and then I sponged all the edges and they're gonna go on those this time instead of on the banner, the ones with the tails. Right? And I put them on DSP in the background. So instead we're gonna do it just a tad different. Right, and you'll need some little um, dimensionals, liquid glue, and I think that's about it. So let's get started on our card. So the inside I am just going to, I can use to, okay, let me just take this down. With snail. Right, and we'll put it on the inside because we don't need to uh, do anything else with this. There we go. So that's our inside done. <laughs> All right, so let's take our front and we are going to stamp on our birds over to the top right. So just tap gently and stamp wherever you feel you want them stamped that should be good like so oh still need this all right let's get me a uh, piece of scrap so i can show you how i did this um i need to stamp off. Do I have a piece of scrap? Yes, here. Yeah, let me use this. Let me stamp this off. Get as much of the ink off as I can. And uh, Stampin' Up! has now come out with a smaller little cleaning pad. And they have the 
wet stuff that you you can squeeze onto it too it comes in a little bottle that i didn't order but i just got this and i haven't tried it yet so let's see what it does so we just clean it off with that Ooh, pretty cool look at that right then it says to rinse them off with water so we will do that after i'm done my video but oh i think this is cute for traveling with like to take to Starbucks for your coffee and a card and different things. So now let's stamp our set sail in the direction of your dreams. This would be beautiful uh, for graduation even. So all I did was I stamped it. And I don't need this anymore because I, ha I have the other stuff all. Um, well, I could stamp one of those circles. I could, I could. Right, let me get a thing. We'll stamp the um, compass. I did not do the smaller little compass parts for the card because I have it up on dimensionals. And then if I put the compass things on there too, there'd be two more layers on there. So I just did it flat. I didn't cut the little ones out with the dies. So let me uh, see if I can fit this on here too. I'm going to, right, put it there. And we'll punch that out too, so I can show you how I did it. All right. I'm sure you all know, but um, right. Here we go. Just punch this out. It's a little bit larger. The punch is a little bit larger. That's why I sponged the edge. So just center it as best you can. And then we sponge that. Now you can get you a little uh, trimmer. Put that up here right now. I already have this done, but I'm just going to like show you a sample. So I'm going to cut, cut all around. As small as you can get it. So all these little scraps away. I don't need them. See how small that is? Now we're going to cut it into sections. So I want to cut off, set sail in the. So we're going to trim that like right there. Like so. And then the next piece, we're going to chop off direction or dreams. There we go. So just trim off these three little bits. Take your sponge. I don't know if I have any on there. Yeah, I have a little bit. And just sponge the edge. Just a tad. So you have a little bit of blue on there. And sponge all around your... Yeah, it needs to be darker than that. So I don't have very much on here. Alright, so sponge it dark. There we go, like so. So you end up with that. Alright. So let's take these off to the side because I have mine all done. And make sure that they're going to cut them. You might have to cut the sides a little bit more so that they fit inside this little dotted line. It's already there for you. It's so pretty you don't want to cover it up. All right, so I can put that aside. Now let's put our card together. And then I'll show you all the stuff that I have done. Well, not all, but some, because some I have for... There's a blog coming out on the 27th, um, Stamper's uh, Showcase. And uh, I have made a beautiful fun fold card for that. So I hope you uh, look for my blog on uh, the 27th, which will include that. Now, before I put this on, I'm going to actually make my card. So let's put this I'm going to glue with liquid glue I like my little bottle so I'm just going to hopefully be able to get some glue out of this might be stopped up good night yep and this one is clogged up or something no oh my goodness of course I'm on video so it's got to do this for me all right, let's try another one. I have another one at the ready. I have to wait for it to come down, though. 
Sorry if I'm making you dizzy by moving too fast. Oops, forgot. There we go. All right, so just squeeze your liquid glue all over your... If you're using this, if not, put it on the dimensionals. You don't have to worry about doing this. So I'm going to just stick this on. And because I have sponged the edges, it's the exact same size, but you can't really see the blue unless you're looking to the side. So, like so, see? Just squish it down, add more glue. Dot, dot, dot on the edge pieces. And we're going to put this in the lower right. And then this I have on dimensionals. And it does have a northwest, east, south. So here's your west and your east. So I want it to just sit right on there. So I'm going to have to move this dimensional. Oh, good night. So of course I took the backing off. All right, so I don't really need that one. I'm just going to put that on top of there. And I will peel the backing. I have to get that one off my finger. There we go. <laughs> peel the backing off of these. There we go. And put your north up north. That's your north. Put it down. And stick that down so it just sits on your lighthouse. Now we can literally probably just put this on the card because everything else we need to have on the card. So I am going to, yeah, I'll use liquid glue. Just squirt it all over. I have so much blue ink on me. Oh my gosh. And set your card on. Center it as best you can. You have a little bit of wiggle room when you're using liquid glue. Set it down. Squish it down. All right. Now we're going to put this on so i'm just going to wiggle some of this down in here and, yep i'm going to leave a space so you still see a little bit of the vanilla on the side here now i'll push it all the way over i'm pushing it all over there we go hold it down for a sec rub it down And then take your um, twine from the inside. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. So we'll do, let's see, left over right. And right over left or oh, wherever. There we go. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just tie a knot. Good night. I didn't, I've got it lopsided. I should have made it even. It would be easier for me to just pull it into a knot. No, oh, here we go. 16 inches. Jays. About even. There we go. Oh, now I'll do it. Because <laughs> it's even. All right. Just... Tie. If you have to, put a glue dot on that. Put your finger. There we go. Ah, pull. There we go. And trim it off. You don't need it this long, so we're just going to trim it down to about three quarters of an inch. Just eyeball it. You don't have to measure, obviously, for three quarters of an inch. Just uh, small little tails is all you need. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these onto my banner pieces so set sail in the now remember to um sponge the edges it just gives it that little old look so 
doesn't look quite as new. So let's see. Oh. And this. Get another one. It says dreams. Ah. Got more glue on my fingers. Went to the library today and uh, was making beaded bracelets at our library. It's a free craft thing every second Saturday of the month. And I got more E6000 glue on me than I did on my bracelet at the end. <laughs> I was like all covered in glue. But it was fun and relaxing. I never thought that beading with little um tiny seed beads would be relaxing. I thought it would stress me out, but it actually didn't. It was actually fun and relaxing. So let these dry for a sec. And then take your um, bum folder and just curve it. So you want it bent slightly. All right, I'm going to put a glue dot in there. I mean a dimensional, like your uh, little mini dimensionals I have here. So we'll stick it in the center so it doesn't sit flat against this. And then I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on these pieces. So I want to put set sail right here. We can push it down some. We don't need it all the way that curvy, but we want it some curvy. Set sail in the, and then we're going to do direction of your. So bend it. Put your little dimensional in the center. You glue on the edges. And we will put you about here. There we go. And then the last one, dreams. Yeah, this would be a really nice uh, graduation too. Or so, you know, for college to set sail in the direction of your dreams, that would be nice as well. A bit on there and a bit on there. So I put it, just set them down evenly wherever you want to the left of your lighthouse. It's fine. And there is our card. How's that? All the blue ink on me, but yes. Right. So I hope you liked my version of uh, this one. I liked, I liked both. So um, I liked it like that too, but I thought oh, I'll use the little banners that come in with the dies. So, I mean, you could do the background if you want. You can emboss it, but I think it's fancy enough just the way it is. Perfect guy, manly cards. So, uh, let me just see if I can show you a few other things I have made. All right. So, this is one of those giant clothespins. I sponged it with blueberry bushel. I covered it with some of the striped um, DSP, and I made the little... Uh, things out of Sahara sand and uh, just stuck them on both sides. I'm going on a cruise with my team, my girls. We're all going on a cruise and some of us are bringing our families and uh, this is one of our projects that we're going to do on the cruise. So there's that one. Uh, another cruise project. <laughs> we are going on the Carnival Fantasy. I can't show you the actual, um, this was my plans for their kit. So this is their two pages for Carnival Fantasy. And uh, they're 12 by 12. So that is their pages for that. Well, they're in their bags already. Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, this is another project I made. And I made the box. So I made it in red and white. And I put a blue. Um, this went with the baby set. The Twinkle Twinkle set. And it's got Let Anchor Be Your Hope. So let hope be your anchor through the storms of life with the anchor and I just put some rope on it and a little uh, tie and this is actually a uh, a bottle opener 
magnetic bottle opener that my husband stained and I stamped and stays on. And then I put the same thing on the the box when I made the box. So I'm going to sell these in a, a craft fair. So oh, that was that. And like I said, I can't show you any more. I have my blog coming out. You're going to love this card. Oh, so it's a fun fold card. I can tell you that much. On the 27th, watch for my blog. Right, so, um, that's all I have to show you at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this card and look forward to the new catalogue coming out on the 4th of June. You'll be able to download it online. You can go to my website and um, you can click download the catalogue and uh, you can have it downloaded. Or if you would like me to send you a hard copy, a regular catalogue, then just ask me and I'll, I'll send you one out gladly. Give me your address. I'll send it out to you if you want a, a regular full catalogue. So um, all measurements will be on my blog, which will be listed below. If you need any of the products, like I said, you can't order these until the 4th of June. But after that date, you can click on the links below as well or visit my blog and click on them from there. Um, if you shop with me, I will have the tutorials that we're offering as a, a, a group. I'm in a group of people that are doing tutorials. There are seven, eight of us. And uh, we're offering them every month. And uh, June's is uh, masculine cards. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Oh, no, it isn't masculine. It is your favorite new stamp set that's coming out in the catalog. So I have to get moving on that. Oh, I should have used this. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll come up with another one. Maybe I'll have a new favorite by then. But this is an awesome, awesome set. All right. I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my card and uh, stay tuned. I will be uploading more new products to come shortly. You have a great evening. Bye-bye, everybody.